listen to this. Unified Maine Common Law Grand Jury. David Robinson, uh, 3 Linnell Circle, Brunswick, Maine. Lex Naturalis de Gratia. That's uh, Latin. It means something. There's a group, some words here. So the civil orders from July 4th, 2014. Issued to all members of the domestic police forces, U.S. Marshal Services, the provost, marshal members of the American Bar Association, and the American Armed Service. These organic American states of the Union, known as the United States of America, major, known as the United States of America, major, exercising plenary civil power upon the land hereby appoint General Carter F. Hamm to lead the command, the Grand Army of the Republic, or known as the GAR, and its successors under the guidance of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and with, the full, and with their full support. The Joint Chiefs of Staff are like the president and the head of the military. So should it become necessary to suppress commercial mercenary forces operating under the guise of being federal government agencies, including not limited to the Department of Homeland Security, the Federal Emergency Management Administration, which is FEMA, the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, uh, which is the ATF, General Ham, Carter Ham, shall assume immediate command and control of all armed forces owed to the United States of America stationed in North America and shall join them under his command as the Grand Army of the Republic. All forces of air, land, and sea are to be employed. Any cost or loss suffered as a result of deployment, the Grand Army of the Republic shall be charged as stipulated prior. All efforts shall be made by the Grand Army of the Republic to spare life and properly while undertaking any action whatsoever within the states, the Union of the Union without exception. The GAR is uniquely enabled by the orders to operate on the land of the 50 organic states for the purposes of securing the lives and property of the American states and the American state citizens. The GAR is not a foreign army and is composed primarily of American state citizens. If required to take field uh, position, the local commander shall make every effort to communicate the basis of their authority and the reasons for their presence on the American state soil to ensure prompt cessation of hospitalities and a widespread understanding of the aspirations and acts of fraud which have led any conflict which have led to any conflict all parties must be brought to understand the nature of the federal government the limitations of its authority and their own obligation to act in favor of the organic states of the union the grand army of the republic shall continue to operate under the general order 100 known as the Lieber code exempt from the pen of the last republic president abraham lincoln so there's a little bit more to read here if you guys want to screenshot that and read that i'm gonna go eat dinner but uh it looks like uh some people have taken over the government and uh they're not telling us about it, and that's kind of what this coronavirus is about. 